In this video, I will show you the Zener diode equivalent circuit models. After that, I will show you several examples of Zener diode clipper circuit and Zener diode as a voltage regulator circuit. Here, I will show you the overview of Zener diode equivalent circuit using this circuit model and I will show you the Zener diode equivalent circuit using the IV characteristics of Zener diode. Let's say we have a Zener diode here. This Zener diode will operate in three different bias regions. One is forward bias, another is reverse bias, another is non-conducting state. Let's say I have a voltage source V. This V is a variable voltage source. If I connect the positive terminal of voltage source V with the P side of the Zener diode and negative terminal with the N side of the Zener diode. If I keep increasing the voltage V, initially there will not be any current flow because every Zener diode will have its built-in potential which will oppose the applied voltage therefore if the magnitude of the applied voltage is greater than the magnitude of the built-in potential the Zener diode will be in forward bias in that case we can replace the Zener diode with its equivalent circuit if we replace the Zener diode with a voltage source whose value will be equal to the built-in potential of the diode in series with the forward resistance of the diode that circuit will be known as approximate equivalent circuit or piecewise linear model of Zener diode usually the forward resistance of Zener diode is very small therefore we can ignore the forward resistance of Zener diode and we can replace the Zener diode with its built-in potential or a voltage source whose magnitude will be equal to its built-in potential and this circuit is known as constant voltage drop model or simplified equivalent circuit of Zener diode when I will be show you the Zener diode clipper circuits, I will replace the Zener diode with its equivalent built-in potential when the Zener diode will be in forward bias. Now see, if I have Zener diode here and a voltage source V, if I connect the negative terminal of the voltage source with the P side of the Zener diode and positive terminal with the N side of the Zener diode, if I keep increasing the reverse voltage VR for example, when the magnitude of reverse voltage Vr will be greater than the Zener voltage Vz of the Zener diode. Our Zener diode will operate in the Zener breakdown region. In that case, the Zener diode will conduct current and when the diode will be in Zener breakdown region, the Zener diode will act as a voltage regulator. and the value of that voltage regulator will be equal to the Zener voltage or Zener breakdown voltage of the Zener diode. So I will assume the applied reverse voltage is greater than the Zener breakdown voltage. In that case the Zener diode will act as a voltage regulator and we will replace the Zener diode with a voltage source whose value will be equal to the Zener breakdown voltage. Now see this is a reverse bias circuit and we will replace the Zener diode with a voltage regulator or with a voltage source of V but the positive terminal of Vz will be in the N side of the Zener diode and the negative terminal of voltage source Vz will be in the P side of the Zener diode because it is in reverse bias. Now see, if we apply forward voltage V across the Zener diode as long as the magnitude of forward voltage is less than the built-in potential the Zener diode will not conduct any current in that case the Zener diode will be in non-conducting state therefore we will replace the Zener diode with an open circuit 
similar case is applicable in case of reverse bias if i have a voltage source v whose positive terminal will be connected with the n side and negative terminal with the p side if i keep increasing the reverse voltage vr as long as vr will be less than general voltage our general diode will not conduct any current therefore the general diode will be in non conducting state in that case the general diode can be replaced with an open circuit now i will show you the equivalent circuit of general diode using the iv characteristics of general diode let's say we have this general diode here this is the p side of the general diode and this is the n side and we have a variable voltage source v the positive terminal of this voltage source is connected with the p side of the general diode and the negative terminal is connected with the n side of the general diode that means the general diode should be in forward bias because the positive terminal of applied voltage is connected with the p side and negative terminal is connected with the n side of the general diode now if we keep increasing the applied voltage v the general diode will not conduct any current as long as the magnitude of applied voltage is less than the built in potential of general diode because each general diode has its own built in potential vk which will oppose the applied voltage therefore as long as the applied voltage will be less than the built in potential the general diode will not conduct any current which is indicated in this region now if we keep increasing this voltage and applied voltage v is greater than the built in potential the general diode will conduct current in that case the general diode will maintain a constant voltage vk across its two terminals which is indicated here this is the forward bias characteristics of general diode and the forward characteristics of general diode is quite similar to the forward characteristics of ordinary pn junction diode so how do we replace the general diode when it is in forward bias or when the applied voltage is greater than built in potential we simply replace the general diode with a voltage source whose magnitude will be equal to its built in potential see this is the general diode let's say this is in forward bias in that case we will replace it with a voltage source whose magnitude will be equal to its built in potential see this is the p side of general diode and this is the n side positive terminal of this voltage source will be in the p side of the general diode and the negative terminal of the voltage source will be in the n side of the general diode so this will be the equivalent circuit of general diode when it will be in forward bias this circuit model is known as constant voltage drop model or simplified equivalent circuit usually the doping of a general diode is slightly greater than the doping concentration of pn junction diode therefore we will assume the built in potential vk of general diode is equal to 0.8 volt if you compare pn junction diode with general diode for example if we have 1n4007 ordinary pn junction diode it could have maximum built in potential which will be equal to 1.1 volt vk max in case of 1n47 28a general diode the maximum built in potential will be 1.2 volt so we will assume the magnitude of built in potential is slightly higher in case of general diode so if i have a general diode whose built in potential vk is equal to 0.8 volt and it is in forward bias how do we replace the general diode at first we will look at the general diode and i will assume it is in forward bias in that case the general diode will be replaced by its constant voltage drop model whose positive side will be in the p side of the general diode 
and negative side will be in the inside of the general diode and the magnitude of that voltage source will be 0 0.8 volt now i will show you how to replace the general diode when it is operating in the breakdown region now see if i have this general diode this is the p side of general diode and this is the inside of general diode if i connect a variable voltage source of p its positive terminal with the inside and the negative terminal with the p side if i keep increasing the voltage v as long as the magnitude of reverse voltage v r will be less than general voltage vz the general diode will not conduct and that is indicated by this region okay now see if the magnitude of reverse voltage v r will be greater than the magnitude of general voltage vz the general diode will be operating in the general breakdown region therefore we will get a sudden increase of current in the general diode so that region will be known as breakdown region and this region will be our general breakdown region when the applied reverse bias voltage will be greater than the general voltage in that case the general diode will act as a voltage regulator voltage regulator that means the general diode will be acting as a constant voltage source and the magnitude of that voltage source will be equal to the general breakdown voltage of the general diode usually the general breakdown voltage varies from 3.3 to 100 volt if you consider 1N4728 a general diode it has a general voltage of Vz which will be equal to 3.3 volt Therefore, if we apply reverse bias voltage greater than 3.3 volt, let's say that will be operating in the general breakdown region and that will act like a voltage regulator. In that case, we will replace that general diode with a constant voltage source. And you have to remember that the magnitude of that voltage source will be equal to the general breakdown voltage of corresponding general diode. The positive side of the voltage source will be in the N side of the general diode and the negative side will be in the P side of the general diode. When we connect the positive terminal of voltage source V with the P side and the negative terminal of the voltage source with the N side of general diode, the general diode will be in forward bias but the building potential is opposing the applied voltage therefore when the magnitude of v will be less than the built-in potential vk the general diode will not conduct any current which is indicated by this region and this state is known as no conduction or non-conducting state if you look at this general diode, the positive terminal of applied voltage V is connected with the N side and the negative terminal of applied voltage V is connected with the P side. In that case, if I keep increasing the applied voltage V, as long as the magnitude of V will be less than the magnitude of general voltage, our general diode will not conduct any current which is indicated in this region. This state is also known as non-conducting or no conduction state. Therefore, as the general diode will not conduct in this case and also in this case, we will replace the general diode with open circuit because there is no current flow in an open circuit although we are applying voltage. So when the general diode will be in non-conducting state, we will replace them with open circuit so from the IV characteristics we will have total three different regions one is this forward region or forward bias region and the behavior of general diode will be quite similar to the forward characteristics of PN junction diode another is this non-conducting state in that case we will replace the general diode with open circuit and the last region is general breakdown region when the applied reverse voltage will be greater than the 
general voltage of the general diode. In that case, we will replace the general diode with its general voltage Vz or the general diode will be acting like a voltage regulator or a constant voltage source. Okay, that's it. Thank you.